Hello and welcome. This is the first week. Happy birthdays to you, Scorpions. Oh my God, Scorpions, how are you doing? How is Halloween? Go check out your Halloween video. Learn to manifest what it is that you want in your life. Okay, Scorpion, it is a time for you guys. It's going to be a good year. So, Scorpions, go and go and see what is coming up for you. All right. I want to say thank you to all you Scorpions out there. Thank you for supporting uh, my channel. Thank you for the wonderful support. Please um, share these videos. It is your birthday. You have um, f um, moving forward in this year. So a lot of stuff that you were being caught up with, you're going to be moving forward in this year. Okay. So you Scorpions, whatever is your situation, the energy of this year is the energy of the chariot. Okay. So this is good because you're moving forward. Whatever the issue, situation is or was, you're moving forward. You're getting out of the situation. You're moving out of whatever that was transpiring and you're moving forward. So you have the energy of the chariot. This is going to be a good year for you, um, Scorpion, because it's about getting out of a situation that no longer serving you. Um, stuck situation that was happening that wasn't um, that you were dealing with you're finally 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 getting out of the situation and moving forward so it's going to be a fire year where the energy of the tower it could affect you where people things and situation is going to be uh, removed out of your life whatever that was blocking you however this was blocking you guys uh, um, this situations and things that was transpiring is just definitely going to be removing out of your life. So um, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Enjoy the energies as you move against the all these energies and situation. Because what is happening for you, Scorpion, is that as it's as if you're learning. You're seeing the world for what it is and you're learning, you're understanding what is transpiring in the world for you, okay? So um, that is what you're going to be um, dealing with. I love the energy of this, of you moving forward. This is a fire sign and this means moving forward and, and it's coming up because it's a, it's a card of um, justice, equality, being overcome in, obstacles in your way so whatever obstacles that you scorpions were dealing with and if your birthday is from the fourth until the tenth whatever obstacles you were dealing with you're leaving this behind and you're moving forward so again happy birthdays i'm gonna put it back in the deck we are going to be checking out what is uh, the energy that is coming up remember your birthday begins uh, um after the day so if the fourth is your birthday, the fifth begins 2019 because you're just about to begin 2019. Okay, so it's going to be a year of movement, a relocation, transform, transformation, moving. Relocation always comes up. It's a year where some of you are going to change in your vehicle, changing where you work in that sort of a thing, changing your careers. Okay, so we're calling up on the angels and guides for the scorpions who are having birthday from the 4th of November until the 10th of November to come in. Show the scorpions their energy, what they have to work with, okay? So for the people who were born on the 4th, you are going to be dealing with issues with organization, legal issues and that sort of a thing. Company, it could be that some of you could be starting your new company or starting something for yourself. However, this is going to apply to you. It depends on how it is coming out and applying for you. But you have to deal with group of people, okay? So... Be aware of this, whatever is coming up. For the people who were born on the 5th, I'm seeing whatever that was transpiring, whatever legal issues, you're going to be dealing with a lot of legal issues, balancing out karmas in this year, moving forward, letting things behind, divorces, that sort of a thing is coming up whenever the energy of the justice. For the people who were born on the 6th, I'm seeing you trying to find inner strength. It's a fire year, so it's as if you're going to be learning to find inner strength to deal with certain things and situations that is going on in your life. 
you have the energy of fire and one of the hard one. The devil comes out for the people who were born on the four, five, six, seventh, seventh of November. If you were born on the seventh of November, um, you're going to be realizing that negative people situations is affecting your life. You're bonded. Um, some of you could be um be connected with drugs and that sort of a situation that negative energies negative forces is helping you people who are born on the eight this is a beautiful energy or financial stability money is going to be coming in in this year for you um it's going to be like as if if your financial flow was blocked it's going to be removing all the blockage is going to be coming up so that is beautiful so for the people who are born on the 9th of november energy of the world and of the situation a new beginning new positive start you're moving away from negative influences some of you could be changing work in organization and that sort of a thing i'm loving this this is beautiful and the people who were born on the 10th of november congratulations this is your lucky year so for the people who were born on the 10th of november this is your lucky year you have the chariot along with uh, the wheel of fortune so this is going to be wonderful it's going to be positive it's going to be absolutely absolutely brilliant so congratulations to the people who were born on um you know really congratulations uh, um to the people who were born on the um on the <laughs> On the 10th, the 9th, the 8th, 9th, and 10th people are looking good. Okay, so if you were born on the 8th, congratulations. Um, my cousin was born on the 8th. I know you're watching me. Sorry, darling. Didn't get to tell you. I'm going back to Europe. Love ya. Happy 50th. Okay, so um, who was born on... Um, people who were born on the um, the 8, 9, and 10 is going to be a beautiful, beautiful year. For the people who were born on the 8, it's going to be a year of your financial st stability. Wow, it's um, your financial stability is coming up, okay? So I'm seeing it's going to affect you young men. Whatever um, situation, whoever was taken from you, there's a 9 of pentacles, so... If there is a message for someone that is coming out, I will get to this message. But for someone who was born on the 8th and the 10th, if you were dealing, if you were between the ages of 18 and 45 and was dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, your same age group, I'm seeing you leaving this person behind and you no longer have to pay them whatever they was extorting you because some of you were being extorted, okay? And, uh, um... Let's go in and see what is happening because I'm saying that especially the people from the fort until um fifth and sixth, seventh, you have to find in a balance. The people from the fort, fifth, sixth, and seventh, you have to find in a balance in this year. It's going to be very hard, but you have to figure out to find that in a balance, okay? Because that has been asked for. And the people who were born on from the 8, 9, and 10, you have the chariot. So um, there's helping images that is coming up for the people from the 4th until the 7th. You're having um, balance and you're having moving forward. So whatever stuck situations the people from the 4th until the 7th was in, you're going to be able to, um, to be moved out of the situation. It's a powerful year. Enjoy the energies that is coming in. Some of you who were having some hardship is going to be getting out of this hardship in a very, very positive way. Okay, so let's um, dig in, go in, see what is happening um, for you guys. Okay, so let's see what is happening. So we're calling up on the agents and guides, the universal angel, mother, father, God, the God and goddesses of the scorpions um, who are having birthdays in this week. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see what is happening. As we look at corporations for the people who were born on the fort, I am seeing that you need to stand your ground against a corporation, whatever is happening. Okay. So people who were born on the fourth, whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing you are too open to an organization. You need to stand your ground. But I'm going to look at each one um, um, separately. I'm seeing some of you coming out of issues with people. Help is going to be coming in. 
deceptiveness is going to be over. I said it and I bring out the card of deceptiveness. <laughs> I said it and I brought out the card of deceptiveness. Alrighty, I'm seeing money coming up. So whatever is transpiring and happening, I'm seeing money coming up. So this is the uh, the energy and the reading for the scorpions who were born from the fourth until the 10 show us uh, the energy you're dealing with a corporation a friend in an organization some of you are dealing with issue overseas i'm seeing the energy with uh, coming up yep all righty okay so let's look at the people who were born on the fourth now as I have already said, you guys are dealing with a corporation, an organization, and a corporation, okay? And what is happening and transpiring for you guys is that whatever the issue is, you need to stand your ground, okay? You need to stand your ground because obviously um, you're too open and, and opening up yourself. It could be at work. You got to stand your ground. Whatever is you're dealing with, you got to stand your ground, what is here it is the seven of wands so i'm seeing um a situation that you're dealing with with a leo this leo is not going to be winning okay so whatever that is transpiring the organization came down on a leo whoever this leo is uh, whatever deceptiveness that you're dealing whatever information some of you are trying to balance out the situation with an organization and this is a six of one this is all about the energies of the leos so some of you could be having situations to deal with a leo in an organization whoever this leo is a friend could be coming up to help you out because a friend is going to be seeing the truth of what has happened and transpire i'm seeing a lot of you friends are going to be there for you friends are going to be really supporting you okay someone who is a taurus in an organization um could be helping you out because they are going to be seeing the truth that a leo has lied Whoever this Leo and this situation that is transpiring, I'm seeing you guys are going to be working against this. You could be having a company and you're dealing with a Leo and some deceptiveness, but I'm seeing a friend is going to be helping you. For the rest, it is more of dealing with people. You're going to be receiving information about a Leo or someone like that. Some of you could find out that your friends are the one who have created some issue. So whatever is happening, note that friends are going to be there for you guys who were born on the fourth. So definitely whenever, and I'm seeing that some of you need to stand up, stand up, stand up. Don't let people walk over you. Whatever is transpiring, I need you to stand up and don't let people walk over you. Some of you could be receiving or waiting for a message from an organization. Maybe it doesn't come in in this week. Remember that this is the first week um, of the month. So maybe it doesn't come in. Don't give up hope, okay? This is a year where a lot of uh, situation is going to be coming in. Remember to check out the weekly reading. For the people who were born on the 5th of November, you have the energy that you're going to be balancing out a lot of karmatic situation and just let it go and move away. Some of you are dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Um, this could be a child. I'm seeing a lot of children coming up in your world. It could be custody battle. Some of you could be adopting or you're divorcing and you're dealing with people and kids. I see some of you could be adopting kids from overseas. I'm seeing people connecting. If you have business and that sort of a thing, you are going to be releasing yourself from some contracts that you have overseas. And some of you people overseas are going to be wanting to work together with you. Whoever you are out there could be dealing with someone um, between the ages of 18 and 45. Whoever this person is, they've done something and tried to get away with it. But justice came down on them and justice came down on them very hard. Some of you, if you're thinking about to collaborate or work with other people or um, start a business, it's a yes. Go ahead. It's a yes in this year. I'm seeing you guys balancing out a whole lot of issues and situation. I'm always, I'm also seeing moving. 
um traveling a lot of traveling is going to be coming up for some of you so some of you um might be moving to travel overseas or to go and work overseas whatever it is and whatever is tr transpiring i'm seeing this is going to be very very positive whatever that has been happening with business jobs transferring once to move overseas in this year it's going to be good go ahead so if you were born on the 5th of november there's going to be positive alignment of energy some of you are dealing with a deceptive situation with someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and you're going to be catching this person they are going to be this person is going to be caught if you are planning on adapting or finding a drag mother um um someone to carry your baby you could find them overseas okay Alrighty, let's check in and see what is coming up for the people who were born on the six you have the most hard energy um because it is the energy of strength now whenever the energy of strength comes in some of you are trying to find inner strength some of you are and this is going to affect a lot of the older people that you're trying to balance out situation with relationship i'm seeing some lies and deceptiveness for you guys who were born on the 6th of november if you're married to an aries leo or sagittarius uh yeah or if you're married to an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, you're going to be finding out a lot of lies and deceptiveness by this person. So wake up and uh, be aware that you are going to be finding out secrets, uh, deceptiveness. Your worries is going to be over. Whatever worries that you have, whatever worries you, uh, you're going to be ending your worries in this year, Zodiac year of 2019, because you're just uh, starting your 2019. I'm seeing lies and deception coming out, especially if you're dealing with legal issues or deceptive people, um, air sign, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. This is a Gemini person that is coming up. So whatever you're going to be finding in a strength to deal with this person in whatever way you can, because this person could be still in love with you. I'm seeing love coming up. A lot of you are going to be finding the love of your life in this year. Now, the, these people are coming in because it's as, it's as if you are aligning yourself with the love of your life. Some of you have been waiting for this love to come in. And this love is definitely, definitely going to be coming in in this year. So um, for the people who were born on the 6th, I see infinity, abundancy is coming up. You are not going to be aware because it's as if it's, it's in the eaters and it's going to be coming in because it's as if... Um, the, it, your angels and guides are planning it and it's going to be coming in the, in this year. So love and money is going to be very, very powerful. For the people who were born on the 7th of November, this is really a year where you're going to be facing yourself. You're going to be facing the demon in yourself. You're going to be facing the ego in yourself. And what I'm seeing happening is that you're going to be wanting to break these uh, um, things that you have if you have an addiction you're going to be breaking this addiction because I see that you guys are going to be going and looking for help to break this addiction because whatever that was uh, holding you at bondage you are going to be fighting against this whether it's people place or situation you're going to be fighting against this and I'm seeing that help is going to be coming in to release you from this bondage and a deceptive situation that was happening so you're ending um the ego base you're balancing out the ego base you're ending the ego base you're coming in alignment of energies with yourself this is going to be wonderful because you're finally ending deceptiveness in your life you're releasing yourself from um controlling relationship or controlling issues in your life um um characteristics from yourself that was killing your energy vibration you're releasing this and i'm seeing that you're going to be having multiple opportunities moving forward so this is what i was saying that some of you might relocate change location change your job change who you are change your personality characteristics from yourself and this is going to be good I'm seeing help is going to be coming in, even though you're dealing with the energy of the devil. I'm seeing that you're going to be released from this energy. Now, let's go, let's go, let's see. For the people who were born on the 8th, you have the energy of the Empress. Now, it's going to be a very nurturing and very, very nurturing here for you. 
your energy of the empress is always about nurturing i'm seeing some of you could be finding the love of your life whoever this person is and um this is really um this is uh, for you um women you scorpion women are going to be finding and nurturing yourself but as uh, nurturing people around you you're going to be finding out about some deceptiveness that has transpired i'm seeing some of you going to be relocating some of you are going to be changing location some of you were dealing with an aquarius and whoever this aquarius is they could have steal from you and you're going to be finding this out I am seeing you making changes, a lot of changes around your financial stability. And this is a very feminine energy. So most of you women are going to be affected that you find out some deceptiveness that has to do with an Aquarian. Whatever deceptiveness that is happening and transpire, it is all going to be coming out. And changes is going to be coming up for you because you're going to be making the changes because someone has deceived you and it is going to be coming out and changes is going to be made. So wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies. Um, the Empress is here that is going to be returning whatever that was stolen from you. The energy of the Empress is here. As we move forward to the energy of the world for the people who are born on the 9th of November, congratulations, happy birthday. And uh, for you guys, it's the end of a cycle in your life. So 2019, right after your birthday on the 10th, you begin to end a cycle in your life. Now, whatever it was with kids and whatever that was happening with money, okay whatever that was happening with kids with money um whatever deceptive uh, uh, association because if you notice the page of pentacles is in reverse so obviously money was stolen from you or you were um issuing or doing some deceptive things especially you ladies is going to affect you ladies you ladies are going to be having some issues with children and money whatever and however that affects you this is coming from a past life and elin is going to definitely come in for you ladies so you ladies have been going through and uh, um you know it's just the people who were born on november 9th you have been going through so many issues and situation but i'm seeing an elin I'm seeing that whoever has um, pushed you away is going to bring you in close to because an elitna is going to be coming up. So right after your birthday, um, a cycle, a new cycle is going to be beginning with kids, family and that sort of an issue. Some of you could be choosing to go in a career of teaching children and being there for children, which is going to be good. The world need good teachers and the world need People were very, whatever that was happening to you people, especially the latest 45 years and older, and Elin is going to be coming in. For the people who were born on the 10th of November, what we're having here is that the Wheel of Fortune is here for you. So if you have been going through hardship and burdens, they're going to be coming to an end. Um, definitely coming to an end. I'm seeing unexpected luck is coming in. You are going to be moving away from issues and situation that was affecting your life for quite some time. So the burdens is going to be over. Some of you were carrying a lot of burdens. Some of you were in a relationship with and Sagittarius and uh, um, some of you in a relationship with a Capricorn, but I'm saying that whatever that the Sagittarius and this Capricorn, whatever the situation you were affected by, I'm seeing you making decision and you're letting go of this burden because some of you are dealing with this person who you have met through a company. Okay, some deceptiveness could be on your part or the part of the other person. But whatever that has been happening and transpiring, the truth is going to be coming out. And whatever lies and deception, you're ending it in this year and you're walking away. So this is going to be a really absolutely powerful year that is going to be happening for you guys. And this is, is fantastic because you're ending your burdens. You're making decision to end your burden. Some of you could be also changing corporation work and corporation you could be changing that sort of issues um where you're deciding to let go of certain situation and things okay i'm trying to figure out what i should pull for you guys so i'm going to take the easiest thing as the map 
the map that is here. And I know I use the map a lot, but I have not. Um, these were left in Europe when I was in America. And I think the, these cards are like one of the most positive um, alignment of energy. So one fell out and we're going to be taking another one. Choose one of these cards, okay? So this is card one, okay? And this is card two. So if you choose card one, it says a magical stream. Go and listen to the magical, read it and make your wishes and dream. Because if you choose card one, you are going to be having a wonderful year because you're going to be manifesting um, what it is that you want in your life. Okay, so um, this is going to be good. If you car choose card two, the mountains, the blocks, the issues you were dealing with is going to be over in this year. So if you choose this card two, the mountains, the blockages that was in your life is going to be released. And the truth is going to be coming out and you're way forward because that is the chariot. So the chariot is moving you out of some blockages that was in your life. Congratulations again. Before I go, I would like you guys to write down your numbers. If you were born on the 4th of uh, November, you have the number 4, 7, 6, and 18. 4, 7, 6, and 18. Your bonus number is going to be a 9. So again, if you were born on November 4th, you have the number 4, 7, 6, and 18. And the bonus number is number 9. Okay. For the people who were born on the 5th of November, you have the energy of 11. Um, 1 three three so you have 33 so you have 11 so you you are working on duality energies you have 11 you have 33 and you have one so 11 33 and one okay your bonus number is number one this is wonderful for you guys because you're going to be clearing up a lot of stuff for the people who were born on the six the six of november you have the number eight infinity twice 88 uh then you have uh, um 10 which is 10 which is one and then you have another one which is 11 and then you have six all right, so let's do this over again. We have one, eight, six, and 11. Bonus number is 24. The bonus number is number 24, okay? Go back and listen to this video if you missed it. Now, we're looking at the people who were born on the 7th of November. We have 15. The bonus number is six, then we have another six so um then 22 21 and three so again we have uh, 15 six another six which is 66 22 21 and three all right as we look at the people who were born on the 8 of November, you have 3, 7, 6, 17, and the bonus number is 8, infinity. So money is as if money is going to be be um, coming in. And if you don't get it in the same year, you're going to be getting it the year afterwards. But I'm seeing you getting it in 2019 going in your 2020 because you're just about starting 2019, okay? So as we look at the people who were born on the 9th, you have 21. And this is going to be a lot of cycles are going to be ending for you guys. Whatever is happening, a lot of cycles is going to be ending for you guys. We have 21. We have 1, uh, 16, and the bonus number is 7. Okay, 1, 16, and the bonus number is 7. For the people who were born on the 10th, we have the 10. 1, 2, double 10. So 
you guys are going to be lucky because you have the ten of ones a lot of issues is going to be ending for a lot of you all of you who are having birthdays from November 4th until 10 a lot of issues are going to be ending for a lot of you 10 is twice the wheel of fortune that is coming up for you guys ending up burdens and situation with organization you have made an um a point and you have made a decision and you're going to be making a decision you are going to be financial abundance because money is going to be flowing to you guys I want to say happy birthday again. Thank you so much. Please like, share these videos. Go check out um, your um, love reading. Go check out the mystical reading. Check out your month reading again. I love you guys. Namaste.